Hi, yeah. Today I'm going to show you part two of the uh, webcasting which I'm doing. So what I'll be showing you now is actually how to configure an APM policy uh, on the Big IP. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll show you things like how to add in AD auth, host checking, uh, how to add in a network connection, um, a back-end server connection and also something like VMware for you um, into the portal. So the first thing I'm going to do is just add into the log into the box. And what I've done is I've created um, a virtual server which we can associate this policy with. So if I just show you this, it's a standard virtual server, uh, just known as webcast. So as you can see, standard on port 443. Um, and the main thing here is at the moment we haven't actually got an access profile assigned to this, so we haven't created an access profile. So I'm just going to add that in there and create that now. So to create an access profile, what we need to do is we need to go to the access policy. Uh, we need to actually create an access policy profile. So go in here and create and just add in oh let's add in APM oh, webcast. Okay. What I'll need to do here as well is actually add in a language in which we can use. So if I add in English and then just finished and then that'll create the policy for me. There we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a um, authentication server and also some resources. So I'm just going to I've already got these set up. So under AA servers, I've actually got Active Directory. I've got some um, servers set up here which I've been using already for testing. So I'll just add one of those in the moment. Uh, in addition, I've got a webtop set up. So a webtop is where we'll need to host all this information. So I've got an APM webtop. What this is essentially is is just a way of putting information into a portal in which can be viewed by the user. So I'll add one of those in there and also I've got a network connection set up in here. So I've got a test VPN NA res connection which will give the users a network connection, full network tunnel uh, once that's been added to the portal. And also I've got application access. So I've set for myself a VMware view client. Um, what this means, it means that once this is launched, it'll actually launch this file uh, onto the Windows device and a user will be able to connect to the VMware View client server. So they're the three things that I'm going to show you. So if I then go back to Access Policy, I'll show you how to compile the policy. So as you can see, I've got my Access Policy here. And if I go to Access Policy and Edit, that will then take me to the main page. Okay, so currently I've got a standard uh, you know, out of the box configuration. So what I need to do is I need to first of all add a login box. Uh, so if I add a login box here or a login page, and then add item. This will add a login page which will then allow me to put my credentials for the AD auth. Uh, so that's fine, we're just putting our username and password in, so I'll just save that. Obviously currently there's nothing for me to actually put in there, so what I need to do is I need to make sure I authenticate against something. So what I'll do is I'll do go down to AD auth and add that item in there now and I'll uh, then select an AD authentication server. So as you can see, where I had the AD auth servers before, it's populated in here. So I can just add in this there and show it to them there is for the purpose of this and I'll enable that. Um, and then that's a simple case of saving that. So what we need to do now is we actually need to assign some resources to this policy. So I've currently just got a login uh, and AD auth. So you can see we've got a deny here. So if a user goes through the AD auth and doesn't pass, they're denied. We've also got a deny here. So what we need to do is we need to change it to allow, to allow the user to actually go through and access some resources. And then we'll add a full resource assign in here. So the full resource assign will allow me to add any resources that are on the big IP uh, APM module. So I add this in here and then it'll take me to a new screen where I add a new entry. So what I need to do here is I need to add and delete and I need to add a web top to starters. So if I add the APM web top, uh, what I've also got is a web top link which is a back end server so that's just the common hack me. Uh, that's just a test server which we have so I'll add that in there. In addition to that I will add in a VMware view app tunnel resource. So again just clicking that will add that in and they'll also add a network resource as well, so a test VPN and update this. So these are all the things that I showed you before and this is what we're going to allow our users to actually have access to. So if I save that, this now means that a user will start, they'll log in, uh, they'll authenticate and if they pass that, 
they don't also have full resource assigned. What I'm quickly gonna do as well actually is just add in a host check before the login even occurs. So if I go to here and then scroll down to antivirus check, what we're gonna do is we're gonna check that the user has AV on their device before they're even allowed onto the APM. So if I add this item, and then I'll get a list of different AVs. So what I want is I've got actually Semantic on my device, so I just want to add in Semantic Court there um, and enable that. We won't worry about engine version or a database version at the moment, as it's a demo, so I'll just save that in there. Okay, so what happens now is a user will come in, they'll do the AV check. If they're passed that and successful, they'll then log on, AD Auth will authenticate them, and then they get the full resource assigned. So one thing to make sure about in APM is actually that you add an access policy as you save it. So you need to make sure you save that by applying it. Okay, so I've applied that, and now that will disappear. So I've got the APM webcast, but what we need to do is we need to make sure we assign this to a virtual server. So I'll then go back to my virtual server, and I will go back to my webcast, uh, which is here. And then I will scroll down to access profile. And you'll see there that my APM webcast is now enabled. I'll also add in a connectivity profile, which is test, and also a rewrite profile. And I will update that. Okay, so now if I go to my virtual server, which is That's the correct one. Uh, let me continue. It's checking client for antivirus software. So it's just installing the client. This is the first time I've come into here. And okay, as you can see, what it's done there is actually done a host check and it's enabled or ensured that I've got the correct semantic on there and that it's active and valid. So once I've done that, I can now log into the domain. So oh, just log in using my credentials. And that's logged me into the portal there. And as you can see, I've now got the three resources in which I added before. So if I just check, click on the hack me, for example, this will take me to a internal resource, which I can now add and edit and change. Uh, in addition, I've also got my VMware view. So if I click on this, it'll actually load the client and initialize the tunnel to the VMware view backend server. So again, we should see this load up. So it's actually hitting a different box what I want, so it won't connect. Okay, there we go. So now what I need to do is put my username and the password. So what we can do is I can actually add single sign-on through this. Uh, that's an additional step. But if I just put in my credentials again for the domain, again, that will show me my uh, desktop. So if I want to connect to that, I just click on connect. And this will then take me into my VMware view uh, Windows box. Uh, again, I can add in single sign-ons, it seamlessly logs me in, but obviously that's an additional step. So I'll just disconnect from that, yes, and disconnect from there. Okay, um, in addition, I can actually set up a full tunnel as well. So if I'm external, I can set up a tunnel to internal resources, and that's just by clicking on the network access. And this will create a tunnel by initializing a connection. And I'm connected. Let's just connect from there. Okay, and now I will log out. So as you can see, what I've done there is I've created a simple policy in the APM, which will allow users to have host checking, uh, then log in using AD Auth, and then be assigned certain resources based on their um, based on their credentials to log in. Um, essentially, that's how you set up an APM policy. Obviously, there's a great deal more granularity you can go through. There's a lot more features in which you can do as well. But that's a standard standard setup. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching and hopefully you got something from that um, and yeah, cheers.